What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi and um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Uchi. We're back again at it for another Black Clover reaction episode 101. This is the lives of the village in the sticks so i don't know if i necessarily said this last week but pretty sure this episode is gonna involve a little bit more backstory probably probably even be more of a cool down episode as far as what eat we've been recently seeing in these episodes which is totally understandable because like i said a lot of really awesome things have been happening so just a quick update last week's reaction actually did really well performed very well as far as the viewership goes as far as the activity went and the amount of likes it got and i'm hoping that that stride continues on with all of the rest of the reactions that are coming and there's something i'm going to mention about something else in regards to more reactions towards the end of the video so hopefully you guys stick around for the breakdown and review discussion portion of these reactions so without further ado let's get right Keep in mind, if you guys missed out on last week's episode, the reaction I'm talking about, you definitely want to pay attention to that theory that I had. A lot of you were agreeing with me, and a lot of you were adding on to the theory, so definitely keep that in mind when watching these episodes. Also, big ups to everyone that took it upon themselves to try and break down and further explain the whole Lich and Patrick situation to me. I did understand it after, like, the first person did, but the fact that everyone cared enough to make sure that I understood what was going on, I also appreciate that as well. <gasps> you know, this song is peaceful, but you know which one is better? Now, another point that uh, I noticed some people were making in the comments last week was that this guy, Lich, hasn't truly even shown us what he can do as far as his fighting ability. For the majority, he's literally just been dodging and blocking attacks this entire time. Like, imagine when he actually fights back. That is gonna be insane. Yeah, that, during that part, is where he, you know, he sent back an attack. Damn, look at the layers. That's a whole new sword. He can't talk. That grimoire no longer belongs to me, he said. Is that why he drops it in the book? Yo. So that was his grimoire. Asta's, dude. Dude, this, go, this adds on to the theory, yo. Those are his kids. I'm telling you. Maybe. Peepow, you know, still kept his ears and the pattern on his face, though. Yeah, he still got everyone else, though. Damn. 500 years? Yeah, I don't know, then. I don't know if those are his kids. It's been 500 years. I, I think my theory is, uh... It's not dead. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Dude, Asta is in so much pain. Oh, tell me he got some healing powers. Heightens your body's natural healing ability. Yo, that's, that's busting. That's a healing item. Okay. Yo, let me get a Black Clover RPG, yo. I know they actually have a game that came out for Black Clover last year, but do you ever hear anyone talking about it? Exactly. <laughs> I would still like to play it, though, I'm not gonna lie. They got magic phones. Special communication magic item that all the captains use. Okay, so a magic phone. So they might have to go back to the villages and protect everybody. That's probably where this is going next. Damn. They might have to kill their own people. All right, so she thinks that there must be a way to help them regain their consciousness within their own bodies, which makes sense because she's using Yuno as an example to, you know, explain that, which... I can get behind that. Seems like her brother is accepting of her idea because he smiled, which is nice. <laughs> Always gotta appreciate the enthusiasm out of Asta, guys. Always. Oh, that must be the hideout that's moving. Yup, I could tell it's a one big ass rock. What the hell? I didn't know Dumbledore was in Black Clover. Have we seen this guy before? I don't recognize him. <laughs> look at it. Look at her in the corner. Wow. Marilonia is freaking still out. Oh, no. Yup. They're not gonna let him. So he wants to protect the royal capital first. And, of course, Asta and Yuno, they're not gonna have that. Ooh, okay. He's giving them permission. Wow. Yo, do you understand that Nozzle has always thrown shade at his sister? And this is like the first time that he's acknowledging her as royalty and that he wants her to fight with him? That's beautiful. That, look at that. That's, oh my god, I love this show. That's, mm, that's cool. It's so good. That's so good. Working on the family matters. That's busted. The whole bubble just turned into a freaking falcon. <gasps> 
Oh my god. He's poisoning everybody in this poor village, yo. Holy fist of love. Oh, snap. It's the sister. Yo, if he comes after the sister, he's dead. Asta and you know are gonna destroy this man. If they even put a pinky on this freaking sister, yo. That's Asta's one true love. Are you kidding me? Asta will literally go Super Saiyan. Uh-oh. The flashback for this kid, Nash, trying to protect everyone. Does he even have magic, though? I mean, hey. We could be another Asta, but I mean, he, he don't definitely have no grimoire. <gasps> he got fire bat mana. It's a wrap. Ooh. <laughs> that is amazing. That's awesome. Yep, it's over. I knew it. Okay, you know what, man? Even for a freaking cooldown, they're still jumping right into some action. I really, really love the pacing of this whole arc. I mean, this series, I, I will talk up this series to anybody, but man, it, it, they just make it easier when they when they have stuff like this. They have little bits of breathers. Uh, you know what, this is a breather episode, and I shouldn't even say a cool down because they took a breath and yet they literally healed up and they've been quickly moving on to the next objective, which is to go and protect the royal capital. But of course, along the way, they're gonna have to protect their own hometown village. And what's crazy is Nozzle actually allowed it, even, you know, despite he's all about his royalty and this and that, and he's better than everybody else. He understands how crucial and vital they are to the entire uh, overall mission. So with that being said, he knows that he there's not gonna be any kind of arguing with them when it comes down to protecting where they come from. So what does he do? He's smart. He freaking analyzed the situation and he pretty much figured that if I don't give them the blessing, they're probably just gonna jump off this freaking bird or the bubble that they was on already anyway. So he said, meet us at the Royal Capital once you handle the business. And he believes in that. He knows he's accepting of their power. And that's what's most important about this whole entire situation is that everybody is changing and everyone's accepting of each other right now. And that is what's cool. <laughs> The bird. Two miracles. All right, guys, so there you have it. That will be the 101st episode of Black Clover Reaction down pack for you. Like I said in my little mini discussion about everything that's been going down, it really is really cool to see everything kind of turning into like everyone's blossoming and everyone's like developing their characters, especially from the, the royal level. Of for a nozzle uh, down to even you know Asta you know and all that kind of stuff but they're they're constantly growing but what I wanted to point out from earlier in the video that I mentioned that I was, uh, mentioned towards the end of the video is the possibility of doing other reactions so I know that there's a lot of other animes out there and I know that there's a lot of other shows and content you guys might be looking for me to do or would like to see so here's the thing, I am going to now plug the Patreon. Again, I haven't plugged it in a while and the reason why is that I don't really like to kind of shove that down people's throats, but the thing of the matter is, is that when you want something to happen, you kind of need to, you know, put it out there a lot so that way people can see it and they're aware and all that kind of stuff. So I am here to tell you guys that yes, if you do support me on Patreon, it would help me obviously a big significant amount because that way I can prioritize a lot more things in regards to doing more of some of the stuff that you're already into. So that way, you know, you guys can get that content and enjoyment and entertainment that I provide for you guys. And right now as it stands, I have literally enough patrons to help pay for the cost of my editing software because yes I use Adobe Premiere and it costs around like 25 ish bucks a month just to have literally the amount of patrons I have literally covers that as it is so if I can get more and I'm not gonna say if you subscribe to me at the lowest tier or the highest tier there's several different tiers that you know everyone has a different situation and if you're willing and you're supporting of you know myself and the brand and the content that I've been putting out for you guys and stuff that I want to put more of for you guys then please consider becoming a patron today I you know I used to say that a lot but it's been a while and as like oh, an incentive once we hit certain like thresholds so like you know if we reach like a certain amount of money that I'll be getting every month then I can add another series another thing is is that I'm not gonna say that it would take away content from the YouTube because obviously we want to put more on the YouTube however because I'd be able to put more time into it because I'd be obviously making more with your guys support then what I want what the idea that I have is to even possibly give you guys the type of reactions that I normally would never do and that's because of the constraints of YouTube and the demonetization 
that kind of hurts channels like mine. It hurts anybody's channel, really. What I'm trying to propose is that on the Patreon, I'd actually be able to put make these reactions where it's the full episode with no kind of filtering or no kind of uh, audio dysfunctions or anything like that where I basically just take the audio out so you guys can't even really hear that and it would all be in as is and it would be all native and you'd literally get the entire episode reaction like a lot of people might already do but they risk getting in trouble because you're not really supposed to be doing that kind of thing so that's my idea that's my proposal i really hope you guys consider becoming a patron like i said it would definitely help me out it would help me out getting closer to being a full-time youtuber full-time content creator i should say because at that point then i would only have really just to worry about that kind of stuff and you know i would be able to put time aside to catch up with a lot of different series to then start doing reactions for them and whatnot so yeah take all that into consideration please let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and of course Make sure to comment about what you thought about this week's episode as well. Did you like it? What were, you, were you impressed with some of the things that happened? And are you still curious about what is going down with these damn elves? And the theory that I started last week being that I believe that Yuno is Lich's son. And some of you might even go as far as to say that what if Asta is also part of that whole little family that they have. But now that we know that Lich and everyone else and all those of that event that happened 500 years ago. It happened that long ago. So I don't know. That's kind kind of a stretch now but we'll see what happens you never know with anime they can change whatever on the fly so with that all being said guys thanks again for tuning in like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff make sure you're taking good care of yourself have a good one may the power protect you keep it locked classy and here on uchi games channel and i'll see you guys next time